Nematocysts are harpoon-like organelles possessing remarkable mechanical properties. Recently, two novel protein components building up the nematocyst capsule wall in Hydra were identified. The first one is the Nidarian proline-rich protein 1, CPP1, characterized by a rigid polyproline motif flanked by two cysteine-rich domains, comprising six cysteine residues in a conserved pattern. The second one is the elastic nidoin, possessing an elastic silk-like domain flanked by several CRDs. Thanks to the presence of these short CRDs, CPP1 and nidoin spontaneously cross-link via the sulfide bonds. The combination of rigid CPP1 and elastic nidoin therefore seems to be a very promising strategy for the design of new biomaterials that are cap capable of forming stable structures by a spontaneous cross-linking. These biomaterials could be suitable in the area of cell and tissue culture because of their low cytotoxicity. We started by comparing the elastic modulus of isolated nematocysts with spontaneously cross-linked bulk proteins. Discharged nematocysts and recombinant CPP1 and nidoin expressed in E. coli were subjected to AFM measurements in phosphate buffer. The mean and the standard deviation of effective elastic moduli of the capsule was uh, 2 megapascal, whereas the elastic moduli of CPP1 and nidoin blocks were 7.8 and 2.3 megapascal respe respectively. Note that the validation of the obtained elastic moduli is not easy because there has been no report on the mechanical properties of either nematocyst capsules or its protein constituents. The obtained results suggest that the bulk nidin protein is softer than the bulk CPP1, which can be attributed to the disorder silk-like motif. For the fabrication of uniform protein nanofibers by electrospinning, the preparative conditions were systematically optimized. Interestingly, both fibers type remained stable even after rigorous washing and immersion into bulk water, owing to the simultaneous cross-linking of cystine-rich domains. This makes our nanofibers clearly different from other protein nanofibers that are not stable without chemical cross-linkers. Following the quantitative assessment of mechanical properties, the potential of nidoin and CPP1 nanofibers is examined towards the maintenance of human mesenchymal stem cells. Since about 95% of cells exhibited the immunoreactivity to a stem cell marker, anti stro one after 20 days of culture, Recombinant CPP1 and recombinant nidoin nanofibers have a potential as a new biocompatible material inspired by the tough and elastic hydronematosis structure. <laughs>